G'day, I'm David Hunt and I'm here to talk to you about my latest book in the Gert series, Gert Nation. Uh, it's a story of how the Australian colonies came together and formed the nation that we now know and love as Australia. And one of the themes that I explore in the book is how much New South Wales and Victoria hated each other. Nothing much has changed. They staged these two competing exhibitions in 1879 and 1880, World Expos. And New South Wales was proud that its giant summer palace had this elevator installed. The first in the city, and it was the most popular attraction at the exhibition. People just wanted to go up and down in the elevator. The second most popular uh, exhibit was a large nude painting of a French model, Chloe. Uh, people came and said, I don't know much about art, but I know what I like. And so when Melbourne has its exhibition, New South Wales is unimpressed. Sure, the Victorians had more people come. They had more exhibits from all around the globe. But the New South Wales contingent was disappointed when they turned up and saw the Melbourne exhibition that the Melbourneites had also managed to secure the services of Chloe. And again, she was a hit. Chloe is now residing in the public bar of Young and Jackson Hotel in Melbourne. And she started the Australian pub craze of putting pictures of naked ladies behind the bar. And she has given us the phrase, as drunk as Chloe. That is, as drunk as a person who's prepared to get their kid off at the pub. Chloe, that Parisian model, did more for Australian art and more for Australian drinking culture than just about anyone else.